you very much. Let's pay attention. The Honorable Vice President, my able lieutenant and vice presidential candidate of the Lady, Madam Fatima Mother Bio, <laughs> the national chairman and other national executives, executive officers of the Suedian People's Party, the Honorable Former Vice President, Dr. Bokari Fu, ministers and deputy ministers of government. Former honorable members of parliament, cause included in that number is uh, Dr. Kande Young Keller, <coughs> or Rivera Parmanches, and other traditional leaders, my bishop, members of the fourth estate, and my great family, the Suedi People's Party. <laughs> The best thing that ever happened to this country after ice cream. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, one country, one people, one, people, one country. Five years ago, from within the walls of the local teachers college hall, I, Julius Marabio, launched the Australian People's Party 2018 New Direction manifesto which earned your trust and confidence to lead you as the fifth president of our great republic. Serving as your president, president has been an honor and the greatest privilege of my life. Thank you again for mandating me to serve for the from the second highest office of our land. Second, I mean, because the most important office and the title of our democracy is the citizen. Thank you for, hold, for holding my government accountable to the people. Today, from within the walls of the Eastern Technical University Hall, Kenema, I stand before you again with great humility and gratitude, with renewed vigor and vitality, with a deep sense of purpose as I launch my re-election campaign to serve you and our great nation as president for the second time. new direction agenda we embarked on five years ago has been a remarkable journey of lasting transformation for every aspect of our life in Sierra Leone. A bit an unprecedented circumstances. We have touched the lives of millions of citizens from the young and to, to, to the not to old or young, Muslims, Christians, males and females living in the south, east, west, north, and even in the western area. We have shown that our SAP programs and activities are not determined by age, religion, ethnicity, voting patterns, and political affiliation in any region. This is because the walls, the four walls, are engraved in our minds and hearts. One country, one people. When I assumed office in 2018, our country faced numerous challenges. Our 
Our economy was in shambles. Corruption had become endemic. Our people had little trust in government. Our infrastructure was crumbling. And our human capital base was slow. When I took the oath of office on the 4th of April in 2018, I solemnly promised us readiness that I worked tirelessly to bring about real change and sustainable transformation in the land that we love. Today I stand before you confident we have delivered on that promise as the top and do SFPP government. We took on the big challenges and succeeded in addressing them under the most extraordinary global upheavals. We prioritized human capital development as a catalyst for sustainable national development and social progress. We free quality education as a flagship program. Our development efforts are tangible and our resources are valuable even to the most stand critics. On almost every single indicator in education, from access, literacy, and numeracy rates, gender parity in outcomes, to transition rates, Sierra Leone is better today than five years ago. It gives me great pleasure and hope that our children can afford the opportunity for a fit for purpose education to allow them to grow in the, and achieve their full potential and become productive citizens while removing the burden of school and exam fees from parents and guardians. Sierra Leone has improved and performed better on most health outcome indicators in the healthcare sector than most regional neighbors over the past five years. For instance, with a 60% reduction in maternal mortality rate, fewer women now die during childbirth, and more infants grow up to see their fifth birthday than five years ago. I was nurtured and raised by my mother of blessed memory and her tribe of women. So I deeply appreciate women's critical role in our society. As a result, during my presidency, I've been decisive and deliberate in promoting the rights of women and girls. My SFPP government has enshrined in our laws that women should have the same opportunities as men in every facet of life. And we will continue to empower them to become equal partners through the landmark he will be. Up. The Hands of Our Girls campaign, led by the First Lady, has helped to keep our girls in school longer and protect them from early pregnancy and marriage. Thank you, Madam First Lady. Through Munafa Forum, we have supported thousands of women and shown strong faith in micros, small and medium enterprises, which are the bedrock of our economy. Our social protect protection programs, like the unconditional cash transfer by NAXA, continues to give assistance and dignity to our society's most vulnerable. As a party in government, we are shown that we are responsible for caring for humanity. In the last five years alone, we have also given a first lift to our infrastructure. The Syrian People's Party government has built a modern international airport that meets international standards 
for the first time since independence. We have paved additional township roads, linked more districts, headquarter towns, and constructed bridges, feeder roads to ease the movement of people and goods, and access to market and services. We have increased the proportion of households with access to electricity and built the capacity to double access while reducing the cost. Ensuring people trust our democracy and government has been critical to me and the Sweden People's Party. My government has been the most aggressive at tackling corruption. Our efforts in this regard have been noticed and rewarded by several reputable international organizations, including the Millennium Challenge Corporation and Transparency International, ranking my SIPP administration among the most corrupt free in the region. We have removed the death penalty and given the press more freedom. For 55 years, where other my predecessors promised and failed to repeal the seditious libel law, I, Julius Malabu, promised and I delivered. <laughs> Fellow SFDP members, our hardest challenge is the rising cost of living, resulting from the multiple global shocks which started with COVID-19 pandemic less than two years into my governance. My resolve has been to do all that we can to shield our people from these economic shocks. We have ensured that essential commodities are available in the country even when other nations experience prolonged shock shortages. We have heavily invested in boosting local food production for our, for our people to feed their families. To sustain livelihood, we have increased the salaries of teachers, lecturers, nurses, the police, and the military, and consistently pay salaries on time. We have raised the minimum wage and increased pension for retirees. We created jobs in the public sector and provided the enabling environment for job creation in the private sector. While we are pleased and proud of these successes, we realize that there is still more to do. Ongoing global crises have brought undue suffering to many people across the globe, including in in Syria and here, and tested our resolve as a nation. Like previous tests in our country's history, this too shall pass. Because we have faith that wisdom inspires and see that never tires. Today, fellow SFPP members, I'd like to summon that faith and see it as I mark the start of my re-election campaign by launching the People's Manifesto 2023 titled The New Direction, Consolidating Gains and the Accelerating Transformation to continue the work we have started five years ago. The manifesto gives a full account of our stewardship in the last five years outlines our plans for the next five years and represents a new social contract between the great Sierra Leone People's Party under my leadership and the people of Sierra Leone. <laughs> this People's Movement demands visionary leadership, bold action and the courage to champion change, game-changing transformation the changes presented by the global crisis require solutions that last not only through the current situation, but for future shocks.
We are filled with hope and determination as we seek the future. The plans we have laid out for the next five years promise to tackle the most pressing challenges head on. The SFPP and AIDS supporters will not rest until we make sure no family goes to bed hungry. We will not rest until we ensure every child has free access to quality education. The SFPP will not rest until every youth seeking a job gets meaningful employment. We promise to continue toiling until we achieve food security in every region in Sierra Leone. Prevent undesired death due to inadequate healthcare uh, services. Connect our production centers to markets, light up and power Mama Saloon, and ensure access to safe water, sanitation, and I have given to every corner of Sierra Leone. Our vision is long term. Our vision is to build a stadium that works for all. Our vision is to create a resilient nation for our children's children. My fellow SFP members, the People's Manifesto 2023 is anchored on five key initiatives for building an inclusive and prosperous and for faster and lasting transformation. I crave your indulgence, ladies and gentlemen, to articulate the SMP5 game changers. Five game changers. The first of our five big initiatives is Feed Saloon. <laughs> this initiative entails an ambitious program to boost food, table food production, to drastically minimize our reliance on food imports, increase exports, and increase export, create job, fast, uh, jobs, faster economic growth, and reduce poverty. The second initiative is Human Capital Development of Luxury Skills in the 21st Century. This initiative will continue to build on human capital base, invest more in healthcare as a key driver for a productive society, and create equal opportunities for women across all facets of life. The third B5 initiative is a youth employment scheme. The aim is to create 500,000 jobs in five years by promoting the enabling environment for youth economic empowerment. The fourth initiative is revamping the public service architecture through delivery, efficiency, and professionalism. The fifth initiative is a technology and infrastructure program to serve as pathways for sustainable economic growth. Fellow SFPP, I believe making progress in these key areas we set Sierra on a sustainable path of transformation change, transformational change, poverty reduction and resilience in the face of external shocks. The June 24th election is critical in our country's history. Voters elect the leader and the political parties best suited to steer our country through the current challenges towards lasting transformation. Julius Malapio and the Australian People's Party are best suited to continue our social economic progress and be on it for a better Sierra Leone. <laughs> Steady and emphatic leadership under the Sierra Leone People's Party has brought us this far, and we 
have what it takes to move us even further. Together we have laid a solid foundation for progress. And now is the time to build upon our achievements. I humbly request your support and trust as we continue this journey together. Let us unite as one nation, bound by a shared vision of prosperous, inclusive, and vibrant Syria Deal. A vote for Julius Madabu and the Syria Deal People's Party is a vote for continued transformation and change that leaves no one behind. Conversely, a vote for any opposition candidate would mean taking a step backward towards a non inclusive a non-progressive national development agenda. My name is Dr. Jude Jalo, and I invite all progressive, mind, progressive minded Sweden to join us in our effort to secure a prosperous future for Sweden. It is crucial that we all show up and vote on June 24 to ensure our country stays on the right path towards sustainable economic development and social progress. I will not promise that the road ahead will be easy. But we like with relentless determination and unwavering commitment as we have shown, we will usher in transformational development in Mama Salon. That is one I can promise. Together we can continue to work Hard to build a Syria Union with a clear vision of progress and prosperity. We urge well meaning, all well meaning Syria Unions to vote for the Syria Union People's Party and help transform our beloved country into a beacon of hope and opportunity for all. I will end by leaving you with these words. Voting in June 24, presidential election and parliamentary election, we express your belief about our country. I say this to you, fellow SNPP. If you believe that Syria needs more schools, more teachers, increased pupils, enrollment, improved pass rates, a public exam, expanded school feeding for learners, Vote for Julius Malabio and the SFDP. If you believe that Syria needs to improve its agricultural productivity to attain food security, vote for Julius Malabio and the SFDP. If you believe that Syria needs more healthcare facilities, nurses, doctors, an improvement on key health indicators. Good. <laughs> if you believe that Sierra Leone needs a more resilient and inclusive economy, good. <laughs> and that's not it. If you believe that Sierra Leone needs a he for she champion. <laughs> and empowerment of women and guys. That means a hands off our guys, no sir. If you believe Sierra Leone needs more transparency and accountability in governance. If you believe that Sierra Leone needs more transparency in the mining sector and more transparency. If you believe that Syria needs more electricity and water supply access. <laughs> if you believe that Syria needs more roads, bridges, and other purpose infrastructure. <laughs> if you believe that Syria needs more jobs and economic empowerment for young people. <laughs> if you believe that Syria needs more international success 
is part and flourishing food of faith. A new believer, Kiwelio needs more action on climate change. And he has a meeting. If you believe that Kiwelio needs more international respectability and continental and global leadership. Finally, if you believe that Sierra Leone should not be taken back to 